Build-A-Bear Workshop reported stronger than expected earnings and hiked guidance yesterday. But executives noted headwinds in the earnings call, including wage inflation, supply chain disruption, and the ongoing uncertainty surrounding COVID. Joining us to discuss is CEO Sharon Price. John Sharon, it's great to have you here. This is such a recognizable consumer name and maybe a good window into what's happening with the global supply chain. So can you talk to us about some of the challenges you're facing? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, it's not uh, we're not unique in some of the issues that are going on from a supply chain perspective, as well as some of the ongoing issues with COVID. We do have some of our factories intermittently shutting down. Um, there are some challenges with um, the containers, some challenges with um, unloading docks, all sorts of things going on. I will also note that uh, we mentioned on the call that we had pulled forward a good portion of our back half uh, inventory and have already receded that and also have a lot more on the water. Um, so we do feel good about our back half inventory. We just want to be sure that we're um, being realistic about some of those supply chain issues and that it is there is some cost issues as well, even though we've taken some very strategic price increases to uh, help mitigate what could be some margin, um, some margin uh, squeeze. I will say that, that all of that is contemplated in the upward revision of our 21, uh, 2021 fiscal guidance, um, where we brought that from uh, an EBITDA uh, upward revision to 45 to $50 million versus the, 38 to, uh, the 28 to 32, where yeah. we had been prior. Well, and I'm glad you mentioned that because it is interesting. It's almost like we don't want to tell people that your margins are like 50 percent. We're going to go high. <laughs> cut the price of the bears. Um, no, it, it is amazing that you have that kind of pricing power. And I think this could be interesting for a lot of people to think about when we're talking about how much your costs are up. Tell us what you mean by strategic price increases. It, you know, how do you figure out where and how you can do that without alienating customers? Because that's separate from the whole challenge of just making sure that there are bears available so that you don't have to forego sales because of supply chain problems. Well, Kelly, I think that um, one of the things that's really important to understand about Build-A-Bear is we are a, a company that appeals to a broad array of consumers um, from children all the way to adult collectors. Um, and we've been building and broadening that consumer base for quite some time. On the children front, where, where we started almost 25 years ago, um, accessibility is very important to us. We do maintain an entry-level price point where people can participate uh, in Build-A-Bear and come to our stores or go online and make sure they can get a, fairy fur a furry friend of their own, a special furry friend. We still have what we call our Count Your Candles Bear, uh, where you can come in uh, and get a bear for the price of uh, your, how many candles you have on your birthday cake. <laughs> so uh, that maintains an entry level price point in a natural sort of way for kids to come in to celebrate their most special day. So some of the strategic moves that we make on the pricing often have to do with uh, some of these more collectible type of bundles that are sure. already in the higher price range anyway. Right, and you know that there's a little bit more room there. Sharon, we exactly. appreciate it. It's great to have you here. We'll be interested to follow your story as you guys head into the key consumer season here with Christmas coming up and all that. Thanks for joining me today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.